Hi, I'm Rick Curran, and this lovely lady is my wife, Tanya, Hi. and together we are Boundless Limits, but you mm -hmm. probably know us as the host of WATC's own Atlanta Live. Mm -hmm. And this time of year, Tanya, I get so many questions from people about right. how can I be more impactful for my faith? Mm -hmm. I want to do more things in the kingdom of God, but I'm not really sure exactly how to go about doing that. Right. Well, we recently addressed that in an article that we wrote for the Journey Christian mm -hmm. News, and it breaks down to three very simple points. And the first point that I want to share today is to be the example of Christ in the world today. That's right. Um, it, this is simple acts of kindness. I mean, look around you and see how you can show the love of Christ to others. Remember, God doesn't call you to go snatch someone and save them. That's <laughs> the Holy Spirit's job to turn their heart. But what he does call us to do is to go out and be the example. You know, bring in your neighbor's trash. Um, listen when they're going through something difficult. Sometimes people yeah. just need a listening ear. Absolutely. That's an, ex an excellent example of being Christ in the world today. Absolutely. And another point that we have is to know. So the first one was B. The second one is no. Know. know the word of God. Live out your faith. Absolutely. This is so important. Well, it's so hard sometimes because if you're not prepared, when that question comes, tell me a little bit more about your faith or how come you're different or what is it about Christianity that makes you so happy? Right. And it's so critical that you know your faith, not only yeah. for the times that you're asked those questions, but also for the times when it's so difficult to be a Christian. And we know those times when sure. it's when bills come up or when there's a, a, a sickness or a death in the family and mm. we just find ourselves questioning God and the things he's doing in our lives. It's so important to know your faith and know the roots and the meaning of what's behind it. That's right. And to just really embrace Embrace the word of God. Psalms 119, 105 says, Your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And it really is. We mm -hmm. have found this to be true over and over in our life. Um, God's word will light the way, but the only way that you know it is to read it. Absolutely. So dive in. And the third point we have for you today is do God's will. Um, again, just live yeah. out your faith, serve others, love others, and just live out your faith everyday life. Absolutely. And I think that that's probably one of the easiest steps, quite honestly. Mm. We've spent years now running around asking ourselves, what would Jesus do? Right. But when it comes right down to it, are we really doing it? Right. And it's very simple. Jesus was kind. He mm. listened. He showed people he cared. Mm -hmm. And that's what's important. And if you just do those little things, right. you're going to have people asking you and you're going to become a much better witness for the kingdom of God that you believe in. Right. And you'll really enjoy your faith. I mean, being a Christian, I know there's hard times. We know this. there's yeah. hard times. But you know what? If if you break it down to these three simple steps, be the example of Christ in our world, know your faith, and do God's will. It really makes life a lot simpler and easier. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And so we just want to wish you a happy new year right. and all the best of prosperity yes. and greatness that God has for you yes. in your life. And we can't wait to see you again on Atlanta Live. Right. God bless you.